Why stay and advertise with Upstay? Do you want to keep your property booked and earn a profit? Advertise your property with Upstay Africa Digital Agency and let the rest of the world know your vacation property. Style and character are everything at Upstay, an affiliate of Decos Group. Our collection of hand-picked luxury rentals in Upstay have this in spades. We have destination experts who know the ins and outs of all our regions, picking holiday homes, villas, cottages, resorts, lodges, camps, apartments, and flats in UPSTA that aren't only unique, but also in the best locations in Africa. Our helpful concierge team are on hand to make your stay extra special. Whether you want a fully stocked fridge, a local in-house chef to cook your meals, housekeeping, or any other extra service, consider them your holiday genie who will happily grant your wishes. In over 10 African countries, hash luxury, redefine tell plus 25479769064 email, info dupste.kotaki. Hi guys, uh, as you know, African safaris were very big in uh, exclusive luxury safaris. So we got uh, interested with uh, Porini uh, Rhino Camp and uh, um, the camp manager here will tell us more about the camp. Uh, thank you, my name is Edwin, manager at uh, Porini Rhino Camp. Uh, in Alpajeta, we are part of uh, Korean safari camps which are found uh, all over the country with units in Ambasebi, Nairobi National Park, uh, Meru National Park, and uh, in three different conservancies in, in the Mara. Okay. Uh, we have a Larry Motorogi Conservancy where we have Korean Lion, and we also have Kenya Conservancy, mm -hmm. uh, where we have three separate camps, and recently, uh, this year in June, we started Green Giraffe Camp, which is in a different conservancy called Maradipoy. Oh, okay. So we are eco camps that are dedicated mm -hmm. to conservation, both of animals mm -hmm. as well as uh, resources. Mm -hmm. And that is why uh, the concept, mm -hmm. uh, majority of our camps mm -hmm. are in conservancies. Oh, okay. We have only Nairobi Tated Camp, which is inside Nairobi National Park, mm -hmm. and Reno River Camp, which is adjacent to Meru National Park. All right. Uh, Perini Reno Camp is on the extreme western end of the, of the conservancy, mm -hmm. uh, with a combination of six individual tents and two family tents. Okay. Yes, sir. So, um... What makes the camp stand out from other camps inside the Olipajeta? Number one, our location is excellent mm -hmm. because of being on the extreme end of the of the conservancy. Mm -hmm. It means you have less traffic mm -hmm. uh, of vehicles mm -hmm. uh, on this side, mm -hmm. and that eventually has made us uh, have very excellent game viewing chances. Mm -hmm. That because of having less traffic, the animals have also moved here. We now have a pretty decent Orini lion pride. Mm -hmm. uh, we have all the big five around, okay, including some of the lesser animals that uh, people don't know about, but they're actually quite rare, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, animals like striped hyenas, which oh. are nocturnal animals. We actually have a den that is about 150 meters away. Oh, okay. Uh, so a lot of the animal included birds, the spring hares, we have uh, have it in plenty. We also do night game drives mm -hmm. uh, for like animals, like I say, with, uh, mm -hmm. the strepaina, which are nocturnal. Mm -hmm. uh, part of the guest experience okay. is that uh, during your stay, mm -hmm. you are entitled to one night game drive. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so it's like uh, you can do morning game drive, afternoon game drive, and the night game drive. And the night game drive as well. So that one comes like a package or? Uh, yes, because uh, when you're staying here, you're, you're only paying for ground package, mm -hmm. which entitles you to the game drives. Mm -hmm. 
and like I said, part of the game drives is one game drive, mm-hmm. one night game drive mm-hmm. uh, per stay. Okay. Yes, it comes as part of the package. Yes. Uh, um, you see, most of the tourists when they come for an holiday, there is one thing which they always look for, like a, a good uh, accommodation and a meal. Do you have like a signature meal of uh, Porini Rhino Camp? Uh, we don't necessarily have a, a signature meal, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, one of the things uh, as a company, because we have a similar menu with, uh, in all the companies, we, in all the camps, you have a cyclic menu. Mm-hmm. And the reason why we do is because majority of our guests mm-hmm. will do what we call a Purini circuit. Okay. So they will start off mostly in Nairobi National Park, and mm-hmm. then the camp. Mm-hmm. And then move around all the camps. Okay. So because of that, mm-hmm. you do not want guests to have uh, repetitive meals. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but one of the things that we do very well uh, as a com- uh, as, as a, com- as a company are actually soups. Believe you, <laughs> believe oh. me. Oh really? Yes. We actually <laughs> even have um, a YouTube channel, uh, a YouTube uh, videos that are actually uh, dedicated to that. Oh, because soups. yes, the best soup. I can tell you that for sure. That's oh. why that is there. I mean, one of the I, you will always have just want <laughs> recipes, <laughs> and because of it, them being very popular, mm-hmm. we decided to actually have mm-hmm. uh, videos of our chefs doing this. Okay. Yeah. So, who are your clientele? Uh, basically, our clientele are people who love nature and they're here for the game viewing mm-hmm. as, you don't, as you know the mother company is called game watchers yes yes um, our pride is guest experience when it comes to viewing okay. of the animals mm-hmm. and because of that mm-hmm. we have ensured that we have excellent guides okay yeah. uh, we will tell you even if even when you look at uh, our website, we tell mm-hmm. you if you want to see animals because that is what brings uh, our guests here. Mm-hmm. Come to us. We invest a lot in the quality of our guides. Okay, they are and very knowledgeable. They are very knowledgeable. Mm-hmm. Uh, members of KPSGA, uh, mm-hmm. and we actually take time to learn. Mm-hmm. The guides and their, you know, their basic nature, mm-hmm. their attributes, how they are, so that we can match them. Mm-hmm. Because the every vehicle has a driver guide mm-hmm. and a spotter. Mm-hmm. You've got to match their personalities mm-hmm. so that they don't they don't clash. Otherwise, if mm-hmm. they clash, then the guests will not be getting the experience they're supposed to. Mm-hmm. They're supposed to get. So you accommodate both locals and international yes. tourists. Yes, absolutely, yes. Mm. So, as, uh, also you, from here to airstrip? Uh, it's about a, it's a 15 minute ride to the airstrip. Mm-hmm. Um, with us, normally most scheduled flights will get in between 10 and 11. Mm-hmm. So, with, uh, with that uh, being the case, mm-hmm. it's not normally a direct mm-hmm. uh, route to the camp. Okay. It will be taken through a small game drive. All right. Sort of um, a welcome. Yes. Okay. You know, yeah, something to entice yeah. you to yeah. and see what the possibilities are. Okay. And like I said, because of our again our location, mm-hmm. you'd be very surprised that you actually get to see a lot of animals, mm-hmm. even if you're just out there for oh. about an hour. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So uh, uh, I've I've noticed the tent that the camp is not fenced. Yeah. Uh, is there any the plan to be afraid of? There is nothing to be afraid of mm-hmm. as long as mm-hmm. you follow the safety briefing. Okay. So you normally do briefing? There's a briefing that is done to all our guests mm-hmm. uh, when, you, when you're checking in. Mm-hmm. As long as you follow the safety briefing, mm-hmm. then there's nothing to worry about. Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, at night, mm-hmm. um, the sounds of the animals Mm-hmm. Whether you are hearing them, or from afar, mm-hmm. or when they're passing through, is part of the experience. All right. Yes. Oh, well, that's that's awesome. So, um, during this time of uh, like uh, Kenya now, it's a visa-free country. Mm-hmm. 
So, uh, is there a difference with that? Uh, honestly, from this point, I wouldn't know because the bookings are not done here. Mm -hmm. uh, there are central reservations from that point. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, with the integrities of what is happening and mm -hmm. all the other conditions that mm -hmm. uh, the guests are supposed to meet, mm -hmm. I personally, I think it's still a bit early mm -hmm. uh, to to gauge how uh, how much of a difference is because mm -hmm. with the international guests, especially. Mm -hmm. A lot of them even who are coming now, mm -hmm. their bookings were probably done mm -hmm. uh, some time ago before the whole mm -hmm. visa free. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so, so we might not be able to see the direct correlation now, mm -hmm. um, but I think we should give it some bit of some bit of more time to, to see the effect. So, um, your cons the conservancy or budgeta, how do you rate it uh, in terms of the game view? Oh, it is excellent. It is, uh, it is excellent. Uh, the animals, uh, because of how huge it is, mm -hmm. uh, the animals are definitely not starving. Mm -hmm. So the animals are healthy. Yeah. Uh, there's a corridor that joins us to the northern part of the, uh, of the country. Mm -hmm. So that's why you will find out uh, that even a simple animal like a giraffe, mm -hmm. you get articulated giraffes here, which are traditionally found up north. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we Pleasure. have really uh, enjoyed the, the tour of the camp. And uh, although we came late, <laughs> but we have <laughs> managed to see what we uh, could. Yes. It's, a, it's a absolutely a very good camp. And uh, we urge Kenyans and out of Kenyan people to try their level best to come to Porini Rhino Camp, the best for the game viewing. If you want to see most of the wild animals, this is the place to be. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. As you know, guys, we are very big in uh, African safaris. And when we see something exclusive and enticing, which can give our client a memorable experience in terms of wild vacation, we always go and showcase that place. So this is one of the beautiful places. And uh, I can tell you, for the game viewing, this place is awesome. You need to come. As we say in... Uh, African safaris uh, discover discover magical Africa through the lens of fab TV and also Apsta and for the game uh, safaris in Africa African what you cover so you wander you explore and you discover it in African safaris so guys this is a place you need to come and experience. You know, some things when somebody explains to you, you cannot know. It's up to you to come and experience them. Through African safaris, the Costa season trips, Adsa, and uh, for the day trips uh, through Escapade Tribe. Thank you guys. Salute. Africa. Safari trip. Book your once-in-a-lifetime holiday experience with Afrogem Safaris. Amazing landscapes, stunning wildlife, Africa safaris, tropical beaches, vibrant cities, and a fascinating culture and people. The African continent has it all. And what's more, where most parts of the world have been visited by millions already, many parts of Africa are still unchartered territory. Think dust roads, internet-free zones, mud houses, traditional tribes, and miles of untamed nature. This makes the continent an adventurous place to travel to. At the same time, the national parks and lodges are completely up to date with delicious foods, comfortable beds, and Wi-Fi and Africa safari with Afrigems. Safaris, therefore, is a once-in-a-lifetime holiday. Kenya especially is heaven on earth for nature lovers. See you soon. Let us show the rest of the world hidden gems in Africa through Afrigems safaris. 54 countries, one continent awaiting you to explore.